Okay, what I've got here is my camera cleaning equipment box. Now, the thing about this box is because the because its cover attaches from the top and there is a blue rubbery seal around it. It's got these latches to hold the lid onto the box from all sides and that means that the cover sorry the or rather the lid is pressed down from the top into the box now with this design if you think about it it's easy to get air out but not back in because that acts as a one-way valve so if you lower the atmospheric pressure then the air from inside will seep through the sides because that it would effectively push the lid away from the container and in so doing loosen the seal but it's kind of like a one-way valve so when the pressure outside is higher than it is inside it's very difficult for air to get in because as air tries to get in it will of course push the lid uh, harder down therefore creating an even tighter seal okay what I've got in there is a barometer I've actually placed this in before I check this into my suitcase on the flight um, I found that every time I take a flight with um, this box in the cargo hold um, after I, I, I land I have difficulty opening the box because of the vacuum inside so what I've done this time is I've placed a barometer in there just to see what the pressure really gets down to and at the moment it's pointing at well I did calibrate that before take off so if we look at the outer scale which is in white it looks like so that, so that reading there I know it's very difficult to see but that's actually 500 and so that's 1000 and that's 1500 so it looks like we are at 600 meters of equivalent altitude I'm here on the ground at zero meters. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to firm this barometer moving back to zero as I open the box or rather as I loosen the lid to allow air back in. So I'm just going to focus this camera on the meter so it's a bit clearer. Now I'm going to um, unlatch this and as I mentioned, see even with it unlatched, it's very difficult to get the box open. But as soon as I do, we should see the meter falling back down. So I'm going to try to do it from this corner, just so that it doesn't interrupt the um, uh, the view of the meter, the barometer. So currently it's still at about 600 meters. Let's get a focus right again. Okay. Now that's sharp and clear, I'm going to go ahead and try to pry. Look at that. There we go. Cool, and now it's returned to just below zero. Yep. Cool, thanks for